believe the first tackle uh, was not made by Ostroff. It was 35. Switch it up. Number 35 on the Williamsville South roster is Neil Brandle wearing a different number for this game. Neil wore number uh, 20 or 29 in our last broadcast. Muscarella handled that one? Yes, he did. He lost about three yards on the play. Tough situation here, third and long. Only 14 seconds left in the quarter. 10 seconds in the clock running. Apparently, they're going to have to get this play in. Flag is down. They took too much time. Flag on the play. Six seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. That will knock them back to their yard and a half line. And I don't know what you call in this situation, Frank. Apparently, you have to pass it. Well, they're giving them half the distance, the five-yard penalty. This is where that extra point becomes so important because had they been down only 6 nothing, you could even uh, think about taking a safety in this situation, but not now. David DeMarco, his favorite receiver is Rich Newman. The split end, the senior. And they need a big pass play here to get out of the hole. DeMarco puts his on, he's hit and dropped for a safety. Ostra. Boy, he is quick. And DeMarco may be hurt. A little slow getting to his feet as the last play of the first quarter results in a safety for two points in favor of Williamsville South. And Ostroff had a bead on DeMarco, and DeMarco never saw him. No, Frank, you're going to tell us about it. We'll take a look at it again. Now watch DeMarco on the corner of your screen. If we can see him, he's just going to blitz right in there. You didn't have any chance at all if you're Dave DeMarco. And it's two points. So an eight to no or it's nine to nothing score. Well, this Ken Ostroff is quite a defensive player. Five foot nine, 176 pounds senior. As Frank mentioned, the first quarter has come to a close. The score through one quarter of play is Williamsville South nine. Williamsville South nine and Williamsville North nothing. They get credit for that two points on the safety. Last week, you remember, we had the safety of Neil Brandel uh, catching the Lackawanna quarterback, Spadone, in the end zone. Now the first quarter, as expected, Williamsville South dominated most of it, but North had their moments. A couple of critical errors, a bad punt, uh, a five-yard penalty on a third and less than a yard situation, a big break that Medica, Dan Medica, the all-star halfback, fumble at the one-yard line of North. It would have been a higher score. Now they will free kick it, and they are electing to kick it off the ground from their own 20-yard line. And it will be uh, Richie Newman. Well, no, it will not. It will be number 30. Apparently, that's Newman. And the kick is a good one. Bouncing and taken at the 30. Outstanding return, breaking it upfield. And almost going all the way. Pat Irving. Tremendous return by Irving. And Pat is inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. He picked up the ball with his own 31. We'll take a look at the replay as it comes up on a beautiful return and a great offensive position once again. You'll see the kick coming down. And on the hop, just watch him burst up the middle, right through the hole. And no one really touched him. He was almost gone. The last man was able to bring him down. Number 41 saved the touchdown there, Scott Dorfman. But again, tremendous field position for the Williamsville South team at the 36-yard line. Nyland, back to pass, throws, man is open, and Dorigo has it short of the first down yardage. Peter Dorigo. Nyland on target again. He's now three of four. A gain of nine yards on that play. McDowell on the stop. It will bring up second down and one. There's your stats. He's first quarter, five first downs for South, none for North. 40 yards rushing for South, 15 for North. 47 yards passing for South, four for North, and the total yards you see dominated. One turnover, that on South. There's Nyland running it to the right side, and he has enough for the first down yardage. Picked up about five yards on the play. Carried by number two, Dave Nyland. So Nyland now has had a pretty good night rushing as well. He was uh, going to be a little bit more in the running, uh, involved in the running tag for Chuck Huber tonight. As uh, watching the game on television, I'm sure the Winslow South or Norris Spartans and their coaches that were up here uh, last week watching in Flacawana, he didn't really run that option himself. He pitched it out most of the time to Medicus. From the 24-yard line, they have Cruz out to the left. There he go out to the right. Nylon, back to pass, looks. Great protection. He throws it out there deep, and it's too long for Dorigo. 
Well covered that time. There we go. Uh, I do believe that if he hadn't stopped to turn around and look for that ball uh, about five steps before the ball was on its way, he would have had it. Nyland had let him beautifully. But Durago slowed up to take a look around to see where that ball was coming. And that slowed him down just enough for Nyland to throw it off a little bit. Good coverage there by the senior cornerback, Ron McDowell. And North really, uh, South really opening it up here at the 24. They're passing. The second down and 10, they're in a passing situation again. And they give it off of uh, Mateka. Hit hard, or Medica, short gain. Be Almost third down. The and, yes, he did. He, well, the thing is, Frank, Medica gets to the handoff so quickly that there's always a chance of that. Well, that time, uh, Nyland really had to reach out to get that ball in. <laughs> and uh, picked up three yards on the play. Stumbled forward. I think that might have had something to do with it, as he was just able to hang on to the ball. Medica, unfortunately, couldn't maintain his balance and tripped down. So it's third and long for him, third and seven. Donnie Dillon brings in the play, number 86. He goes out to the left as the tight end spot. Cruz flanked out to the left, out to the right. Durago, third and seven. Nylon, and there's a draw to Medica. He's hit and dropped, short of the first down. Again, but it's in that territory where they might go for it on fourth down. Well, with a nine-nothing lead, they'd really like to build it up just a little bit more. With 9.30 and counting down in the first half, they've got a fourth and about four situation. And I would think that they'll probably pass on this one. Well, we most likely would see the field goal try here with uh, Durago, but apparently not. It's well within his distance. The ball's where, Frank? At the 18, uh, that would make it a 35-yard uh, attempt, but they are going to go for it on fourth and four. And almost jumping off the back there, for South, a fake by Nyland. He freezes the linebackers, throws it's incomplete. Good job of defense by the Spartans of Williamsville North, and they'll keep this an entertaining game for the moment. So the defense rises up, and they're playing pretty well. And they had to in that particular situation. Nyland had an awful lot of time, and he had time to look for his receiver that was open as you look at the score on your screen. The ability's ahead by nine. Uh, the ball just overthrown a little bit, a little too high for the receiver, and it was deflected. Right. One of the linebackers got a hand up there and knocked it away. I'll tell you, the North job has done a very respectable job defensively. Because tell us where the South team has had the ball. Well, in their three uh, offensive series, they started at the North 39, the North 41, and the North 36. And only that miracle touchdown play of the Houdini escape by an island got him on the board. And that was on a third and very long. DeMarco, back to pass, throws a great hit. Oh, Cruz just wiped out McDowell. Ball intended for number 39, Ron McDowell. McDowell had himself uh, floating up in the air a little bit backwards and trying to catch the ball up into the air, so he exposed himself to the hit, and Cruz made sure. As we're going to look at the replay. Watch the mark a right. quick drop, and just the throw, and there you see him. He had him lined up perfectly right in the numbers, and he was able to get that shoulder pad into there. Had that ball been complete, it would have been just a short game. McDowell flanked out right. Maybe they could have him bite on a short pass and go deep. DeMarco, the quarterback, trying to find the uh, rating in this game. They need a first down. DeMarco back to pass. He has protection, steps up in the pocket, throws, and it's incomplete. And fans looking for an interference call. The pass intended for David Vineski, the tight end. Well, DeMarco has uh, been sick twice in this contest. Lost 12 the first time, and then he was thrown for the safety. A loss of about seven yards, I believe, in that particular series. But he's one for four in the passing department for just four yards to Richie Newman. Would have been sacked again there, Frank, if he didn't step up in the pocket. As the Williamsville South Billies are putting a lot of heat on him. Newman out to the left, flanked out to the right is McDowell. DeMarco, back to pass, fakes, looks, now he's going to run it. And he has good yardage, turns it up the field, near first down yardage, but he's going to come up a little short. Nice job of running there by DeMarco. He needed to get to the 28-yard line, and they're going to mark it. At about the 24. Running it along the side of the field, a little tough to pick up the markings exactly, but he picked up about three yards on the play. Check that, six yards. Good effort there by DeMarco. Four down and four. Really wanted to pass it, but nobody opened. The uh, Williamsville South defense, as we mentioned quite a few times, Frank coming in, outstanding defensive team. And David Muscarella got off a good kick his last time. Again, Davis back with uh, Medica. High snap, handled well, and a boomer. Good kick. 
at the 34. Medica takes it on the fly, turns it up to the 40. 45 hit and drop back. Pushed back by a host of Spartans. Including his own uh, teammate out there, number 33 Davis. They ran into each other. So good job by the Spartans in keeping the Billies out of their territory. They'll start at their own 47. But again, Frank, the field position just too good for an offense like this. Well, with 8.24 to go in the half, Chuck Huber would love to get that extra touchdown. Starting from their own 47, this is the worst, I repeat, the worst field position start of a drive for South. And the full backstop for no gain, Davis. This is the first time they did not start in Williamsville North Territory with the ball. Matt Maines, number 62 on the tackle there, the big defensive end. And Davis lost a happy yard. Scott Evans, Mark Maines, and Bob Riley, the tackles. Evans, the nose guard. Matt Maines, the right end. Scott Dorfman, the left end. Julius Moore, who had that big fumble recovery. Brian Cabrera, the linebackers. Dave Muscarella with Ron McDowell. Jeff Smith and Pat Pudlucky, the safety. Second down and long. Blitz is on. And it's thrown up field. Cruz is open. He's got it. And he has the first down. Fumbles the ball out of bounds. Hard hit by Muscarella, but Nyland does it again. 23-yard reception by Cruz, and he threw that again to the offside. Against the grain for a quarterback to roll out and then throw it that far downfield and that accurately, and he hit from Cruz right on the numbers as you look at the replay. Watch the pressure on Medica, or pardon me, on uh, Nyland, and there's Cruz. He caught it right on the run and was able to take it upfield before he fumbled. Great hit there, but out of bounds by Muscarella. How wide open was Cruz? Wide open, well, I'll tell you, Muscarello was caught between two receivers uh, and picked out the wrong one to cover. First down, Davis hit at the line of scrimmage, squirts away, and now he's dropped, no gain on the play. Lee Davis and two Billies are down. The Spartans really hitting in there. Number 71, Utz is a little slow in getting up, and the big fella, number 50. And the offensive attack, the center, Brian Shenley. Shenley plays both ways. He'll stick in there. Coming in with a play, Sean Gong, the reserve tight end, number 16. Gong comes out to the left. Uh-oh. Two receivers out to the right, and that's trouble. Cruz and Dorigo. Second down, 10. And Medica, a good stop again by the defense. Number 42, Brian Cabrera, and I have been impressed. North uh, coming in, being blown out two games in a row, playing good. Playing well enough, and Dan Medica with eight carries now for 36 yards unofficially is on the march. And we'll get an opportunity to look at this play as we thought that they would be rolling out to the right side, and I'm sure that's the sequence that was designed. As they bring up the play, we'll miss this one, and uh, maybe we'll catch the next one. Third and six. Big play. Nyland, back to pass. Looks, and he throws long, and it's caught. Touchdown, Peter Dorigo again. Oh, 25-yard touchdown strike. Dorigo is something else. Second quarter, two touchdowns for Dorigo. Now Nylon put it right on the numbers. Dorigo wide open. Watch it. There you see it. Look at him lead him right up field, and the two defensive backs just couldn't recover fast enough. The ball was thrown so perfectly by David Nylon. Don't like to overly praise some young people, but uh, when the kid's got it, he's got it. And Nyland has got it tonight. Extra point try. There I go. And he drills it. 6.16 to go in the second quarter. Williamsville South Billies have extended their lead to 16 to nothing. And it's the same story as last week. Nyland and Durago. They are becoming the most feared passing combination in Western New York in quite some time. 53-yard drive, capped by the touchdown. I imagine Dave Nyland, the way he throws the ball, the only thing against him would be his size, Frank. He's not really that big for... He's 5'11", only 155. But uh, David, I want to tell you that the kid I graduated with, uh, Ron Jaworski, was only 155 pounds, 160-pounder coming out of high school. 5'11", he has the uh, height Back and a number inch or so. Certainly has a college arm. Number 33, Dave Muscarello. Oh, Ryan Jaworski, uh, we have a note here about these and players Matt playing in the uh, NFL. There's six of them, I think, from West New York. Now we'll pass it along during the game. Jaworski come out of school. He's too small to play at a big uh, college. He went to Youngstown State and broke all their records up there. 
Those records were subsequently broken by Cliff Stout. Take your pick, who would you have, though? Jaworski or Stout? Oh, a good return here. And North has decent field position as busting Ball it out near the 40-yard line. Pat Pod Lucky. Nice return there in the best field position of the night for Williamsville North. As they'll be starting near their 40-yard line, it's called 39. And we'll get a look at that return by Pod Lucky. As he maneuvers upfield, good move there. That's what helped him. And then he was gang tackled. The old Larry Brown move of the old Washington Redskins team, lifting that leg up in the air while being tackled. That worked for Larry Brown for a couple of years, but eventually got too banged up to use it. Well, the knees uh, started to go. All right, Dave DeMarco. They have not had much success moving the ball. It's batted in the air. Flags are down. Ball slapped away by Flag Kenny down. Ostroff again making the penetration from the right end spot. We'll see what the call is. And again, it looks like it's going against the Spartans. Just Penalty after the night. Well, keep in mind that North came in here losing uh, decisively to LaSalle last week, 48-21, and lost to Tonawanda 29-13 in their first and, game. And uh, didn't we talk to Dick Gallagher momentarily before the game? And uh, Dick mentioned that uh, most of the veteran players, the seniors, uh, the starters from last season had graduated from North, so they're a younger First club. And they just run into the bugs out here line. in Williamsville South. But well, I, these are very, very potent teams. I expected South to attack them methodically, but they really haven't uh, moved the ball that well against North. It's been the big plays. A couple of big touchdown passes. First and 25 now to Markle. And the pitch back, Muscarella. Good cut back, Muscarella with sizable yardage. Out over the 30, to the 31 or 32, a gain of six. Ball carried by number 33, Dave Muscarella. Five carries, 16 yards for Dave Muscarella on the pitch play. And they're still looking for their first first down in the ball game. Looks pretty good in there thus far. Ball up to the 31 yard line. DeMarco is gonna have to air it out. He's only one for four in the game. And they're gonna have to free either Newman or McDowell downfield, but the problem is Frank, he just doesn't have the time to set up and throw. The second down, call it 20. DeMarco, a long count this time. And again, he goes to Muscarella. Good hole, and Dave Muscarella out over the 36 to the 37-yard line. Well, Muscarella able to pick up some yards. Ball carried by number 33. And first and long, Muscarella. second long situations, but now in a third and long situation, uh, it might not be Tackle the, by the best kind of play to get it in this situation. Hendrick. You're down by 16 points, uh, just about four and a half minutes ago in the third first half of action. Well. You need to uh, get that ball to the first down and keep a drive alive and try and get on the board before half. Third down and 12. They have not converted yet on a third down situation. And they'll need to pass to convert this one. You can be sure of that. David DeMarco calling the signals again along count. Goes straight back and throws a high arcing pass. Has a man. First down. Beautiful catch. Pass complete to Rich. Number 80, Rich Newman. The senior. Get a look at that one again, Frank. You're going to love it. 14 yard pickup for Newman. And the first first down. And he just laid that ball out there beautifully. DeMarco with his second completion in five attempts. And there you see him just immediately throw that ball up. And the uh, receiver ran to the open area and dove to make the reception. And the official right on the play called it first down. Mike Balk, who had a great defensive game against Clarence with three interceptions and two fumble recoveries. He threw one interception for a touchdown in that 42 0 Billy's wrap in their first game. Just sort of tapped him on the head. First and 10. On the 49 yard line. And another pass. Incomplete this time. Intended for McDowell. That's that one incomplete. well off the mark. Well, the mark a little, little bit uh, hearing the footsteps, I believe. Uh, quick to release Second the ball now. The receiver's got to get a little bit uh, open. Hey, I don't know if you noticed it. It seems like quite a few of the North fans got woken up with that first down. It was like the official signal, and about four or five second count later, the fans started cheering. Well, the rumors started. <laughs> we got a first down. <laughs> North, as you mentioned, Frank, they need, to, they need to score. No doubt about it. 347 left in the first half. They're down 16 nothing. Quarterback back to pass. Marco rifles it. And Vaneski ripped as that ball went sailing by him. He really took a shot. Cruz again lining up the intended receiver. 
And that's what you can do when you have a good nose for the football. You can anticipate just about when the ball is going to get there. And if you try to make the interception, a lot of times you'll fail and the pass will be complete. If you time your hit perfectly, you can really jar the receiver and make him think about the next one. Very nice looking play, though. Quick pass over the middle. Could have gone somewhere. Third down and 10. 10 to go. Ball still at the 49-yard line. Center comes up over the ball. Scott Evans, who plays both ways, offensively and defensively. We have McDowell out to the right. Richie Newman out to the left. Single uh, setback, Muscarella. And the quarterback, DeMarco, gives to uh, Muscarella. And Muscarella, uh, that's not Muscarella, it's Julius Moore. He gains four yards on the play up to the 45-yard line. Well, 3.30 to go and counting down, a fourth and Ball about five, six, seven yards. Julius Moore. They are going to have to run something that will get them first down the yardage. Timeout called by the North Spartans as they want to discuss it with their Fourth coach, Lou Martin. Seven. He's assisted, by the way, by Jack Hartman and Jim Calandra. Now, this is a tough situation, Frank, because there is only 3.20 left in the half. You'd like to score. You're at the 45 of the opposition, but if you don't make it and foul scores again, the game is, uh, for all intents and purposes, over. They still have an outside shot in this game. So what do you do? Do you punt, get them back in their own territory, or do you go? You got to roll the dice. The best offensive field position they've had all uh, first half. All right, I would I would punt it myself and try and pin them back and hope for a turnover. Do it like Kay Stevens did, a lot of character. Show character in the defense. Wow. <laughs> Poor Kay under a little bit of fire, I'd say, huh? Deservedly so. Oh, oh I guess. <laughs> Not to be an armchair quarterback, and I hate that. I really do don't like that. But uh, there are some things that you can anticipate happening in the Bills games lately. Before they happen, you know what they have to do next, and they just don't do it. Well, the last game was the uh, was the classic. 27 seconds left in the first half. Three timeouts left. Uh, any good team in the NFL throws three passes to the end zone from the 20-yard line and kicks the field goal or tries a field goal on fourth down. The Bills got off one play. And We're lucky uh, to call a timeout in time to get the field goal team on. field goal team on in time to try a 40-yard field goal. And by the way, the one play they uh, threw a pass behind the line of scrimmage lost three yards. So uh, luckily they lost three because if there was seven seconds on the clock and tried the field goal, had the receiver ran up field and got tackled inside the 10 o'clock, might have ran out. Strange things happen to the Bills. Well, big play here, fourth down. Well, you win with talent. I don't think they have the talent to win. They're going to go for it, North. From the 45, they need a big six-yard play. DeMarco back to pass, rushes on, and he's creamed. Big loss. South will take over. I want to say I told you so, but never had a chance to uh, complete that. Dave DeMarco, sack Well, third loss. sack of the game suffered by DeMarco. They've lost 28 yards now. Sack by but I will give a lot of credit to Lou Martino here as we look at it again, Frank. Yeah, he had an opportunity to get rid of the ball just once as the left outside linebacker coming in kind of threw him off, but then he just... Panicked a little bit, I think, and uh, didn't have a chance to look up field. Look at the number of people in there, the white shirts, five. Five around the ball. That means there's six covering four or five receivers. Now, Lou Martini thinking exactly like you did, Frank, thinking that we might not get this close again in this kind of field position, so let's take our shot. Let's see what Chuck Huber counters with, though. They left them in good field position. Well, South is the type of team that does not sit on the ball. Nylon back to pass. He throws a long one to Rigo, and pass interference will be called. But on whom? Pass. Looks Incomplete. like it's going to go against North. Ron McDowell. Penalty on the play. Bob Dingwall on the call there from the scammer position. Had that one spotted all the way. Now let's see how much yardage they're going to give him for the interference call. Looks like McDowell, if we get another look at this, was in perfect position to make the interception as uh, the wide receiver, Peter Durego, ran by him, had an opportunity to catch the ball, but uh, the ball was thrown a little short. We had an offensive penalty in the backfield, too. North doesn't want much of anything here. They're just going to take 15 yards, I believe. They're not going to take uh, take them ridiculously downfield. Now that's an automatic first down as the ball spotted up to the 31-yard line. Poor North, they have to hustle back to the line of scrimmage now. They were anticipating a bigger start. loss on the play automatic for themselves defensively. Down. Williamsville South is 240 left in the first half from the 31. They show no mercy coming out on first down play and David Nyland throwing deep. Nyland back to pass again. And the blitz is on. He rolls away and runs it and he's got a lot of room to run. He takes it out of bounds. 
Dave Nyland, those quick feet. Ball carry by number two, Dave Nyland. This kid is a player. Yes, indeed. He was able to pick up uh, nine yards. So Nyland, four carries for 23 yards on the offense. Runs out of bounds, stops the clock, saves himself. Doesn't waste the timeout. And there you see him again. He's going to get pressured out of the pocket as he attempted the throw. This was not a designed run, but you can see him tuck it away. Look at the speed. Very quick. Ever laid a glove on him, the Spartans of North. And I'm sure one of their players would like to get a shot at him. Quarterback running downfield. Second down and two, 2.32 to go. Island back to pass. Looks, he's sacked. Big hit. Blitzing number 57 in there. Scott Evans. Well, he's actually the nose guy. He just got away from one of the blocks there. Got by the center, Shane Lee. Well, that's got to help them an awful lot. First opportunity they've had to really put a good, solid shot to Dave Nyland, slow down that offensive attack for Williamsville North, or Williamsville South, pardon me. As you look at it again, he sets up, and uh, the receivers just couldn't shake free of the defensive backs and credit the defensive backfield for assisting. There you see him. Sack. Scott Evans saw Shanley 50 reaching uh, behind as he got through the block. Pitch to Medica. Medica sweeping right, cuts it inside. He's short of the first down. See if they bring up the field goal team with 145 and the clock moving. It'll be fourth down and about four to go for the first. Timeout call by Williamsville South. Uh, a lot less than four. Fourth and two. Well, let's see if we can find that. Uh, We'll be back in a moment with more high school action on International Cable, Channel 10. ESPN's October features a college football festival. The nation's top teams, including Nebraska, Pittsburgh, Notre Dame, and Texas, are heading your way in live super showdowns every Saturday. And Auto Racing 84 pours it on with down-to-the-wire finishes in both kart and Formula One races. Autumn's colors unfurl with more horsepower from the Breeders' Crown Series. You'll see seven live harness races leading up to the championship. ESPN's October offerings roll on with Rock'em Sock'em Live top-ranked boxing. Plus, inside baseball's hard-hitting playoff and World Series previews. Follow your football favorites throughout the fall with NFL's Monday Night Matchup, plus the Game of the Week. And catch the collisions each week on PKA Karate. ESPN stages a felt form of the legendary pocket billiard stars tournament and sports the premiere of Arena of Excellence. Join ESPN in October, where the cheering never stops. The setting... Williamsville South High School, although this is a home game for North, 16-0 South in control, Frank, and the Spartans trying to keep them from padding that lead. The fourth down and two, Lou Medica talking to his... Martini. Lou, uh, I'm sorry, Martini talking to his um, defensive team. Um, Martini coaching 21 years here at North and 35 in the Williamsville system. I gotta tell you too, uh, just notice, Walt, an uh, awful lot of people have arrived since the start of this ball game. They thought it was an 8 o'clock start. 7.30 start here. Fourth and two, and South has elected to go for it. They've made two previous fourth down tries. They will not make it this time. As Medica is hit at the line of scrimmage. Ball carry by number 47, Dan Medica. Did he or didn't he? Well, they, they have these sideline markers, fourth and two, and he only needed about a half a yard after they pushed it up. He ran over Cabrera and made the first down. Well, well, they had that? fourth and less than a yard to go, and they did not move up the sideline markers quick enough for us to pick it up. Well, right, they're going to move. Help out there. Hey, well, it's dark out, too. Well, a minute and 20 and counting down, and let's see if he goes for the end zone. Nylon, the quarterback, back to pass. On the option, he's hit and spun out of bounds after a short game. Now that helps out because the clock is stopped with the out of bounds run at 110 left in the first half. And I believe they have uh, two timeouts left if they need to use it. Sixteen nothing score. Williamsville South has the six.